have you ever felt an evil presence in your room or somewhere else? Have you ever felt something pressing down on you? along with an evil presence. Have you ever seen something in your room that seemed to be supernatural and had an evil presence? Have other things happened to you that seemed very weird. You may have a demon problem. Okay. So you may ask me, Kevin, how can I get rid of this problem? Thank you for asking. Because I deal with some things as well. So let me tell you what works for me. There may be other things you can do. But allow me to tell you what works for me. Like, you don't have to give in to the fear there is something you can do. There are things I do. Okay. Number one, ask God for forgiveness. We want to make sure, I believe we should want to make sure we ask God for forgiveness. For instance, or for example, God, please forgive me of all of my sins. Okay. Number two. I, I assume they are demons. Whenever an evil presence come to my room or whatever, I assume they are demons. Now, you may say it is a witch or whatever else. I assume every evil presence is a demon. I believe so. So, number two, take authority over the demons. For an example, demons... I bind and cast you out in the name of Jesus. Make sure you do it not in your name, not in your power, if you think you have power, but in the name of Jesus. So, demons, I bind and cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. Or you can say, demons, leave now in the name of Jesus Christ. Or you can say, demons, get out of my room. Get away from me in the name of Jesus Christ. So like a variation of that, I believe. Okay. Number three. What works for me as well, I believe. Plead the blood of Jesus. For an example, I plead the blood of Jesus everywhere around me. Okay. Number four. You may need to begin praying. Sometimes after... There are some times when I have bad dreams and let's say I wake up 
and go back to sleep, I may enter into, I guess, the same dream or another dream. So in cases like that, I believe I have to begin praying. And much of the time, that helps so much. So you may need to begin praying. Pray to God. And you may ask me, what can I pray about? Well, pray about the problem you are having now. If demons are messing with you, pray about that. Command the demons to leave. In the name of Jesus, begin praying. Okay. What also works for me, which I believe they all do, but the thing I do sometimes, not really every time, sometimes, which I believe is very effective, Sing songs to God. Begin singing Christian songs, not R&B and hip hop stuff. Songs about him. Songs about his principles. I believe that works so well. Very, very well. And do it for an hour or more if you have to. I think this works so well. Okay. Number six. So I believe I gave you number five. Number six. If you have done all of this and still feel the evil presence, you may need to ignore it. I think there are many times when I have tried this and that. Perhaps not everything I am telling you now. And I believe there are times when I still felt that evil presence or whatever else. Ignore it. If you have done these things and still feel the evil presence or see something you don't want to see, ignore it as best as you can. Perhaps the demon or whatever it is is trying to make you believe what you are doing has not worked. I guess in essence, trying to make you doubt. And it is not good to doubt when it comes down to the things of God, right? I believe so. So you may be going through a faith test with that demon or perhaps God is testing you. I don't know. But whatever it is, don't doubt. Which I am not saying my faith is the best or the highest, but try to not doubt. Okay, so I believe what I am telling you is going to work for you, but try to be obedient to God's rules. I think that is extremely important. I think much of the trouble, I think much trouble can come your way if you choose to be disobedient to God. Yes, there are times, there may be times where you may mess up. Okay. But Strive for perfection. Even if you fail many times, never give up. Let me stop here. God bless you.